Hello all and welcome to the next video here in the Onion Man's Rooftop Tour to Cal Caravan of Treasure and sometimes barter. The streak continues. And this is the next Tales from the Mailbag. Um, got some mailbag items. They finally kind of piled up enough that I can make another video here. And uh, this is the first mailbag and I think the first real official video um, of me in my new house. Uh, I had mentioned before that one of the reasons for the slow uploads was that I was in the process of buying a new house and moving. That process is finally over and I am excited to be here. Um, it feels weird. I'm still getting used to it. Like, I'm still not used to um, being here yet. So, uh, basically, I, 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 have a, I had a couple different rooms to pick from. I chose this one, painted it white, uh, and set up this bookshelf. I used to have that other bookshelf that had all the old game consoles. Everything's changed now. Um, cause I got more space, so I'm able to, um, kind of work things in a way I want. Obviously, Lucha Thanos returns. Um, and the Onion Man himself is right up there. Uh, but yeah. Was able to really make this room how I want it and make it more of the collectible slash YouTube room. So I'm cool with that. Um, but yeah. Welcome. Uh, got a new table. Look at that. Um, that's nice. So, yeah. Uh, this table is a little bit smaller. It's as long, but it's a little skinnier. Like, it's less wide. Um, so... But it'll do for now. I, I paid 30 bucks for it at Walmart. Um, so until I can find, like, a wider one, this is what we're gonna make do with for a little bit. So, hey. Um, yeah. So, as you might have seen in the thumbnail for this, got some interesting stuff. Um... And I guess I'll just go right into it. Uh, first thing we got, got a cool Walmart find. Was not expecting to see this at all. Um, so, we have the whoop, Batman from Bat, specifically Batman Hush. Um, yeah, this looks really good. I think they updated this figure a lot. If you remember the first Hush Batman was part of a two pack with Batman and Hush. And that Batman figure was horrible. It had the weird screaming head. They were so lazy. They didn't even bother to paint the joints gray. They left them black to go up to the gloves. It was, and, and he had a tiny head. For some reason, Batman figures for McFarlane um, and a few other figures too. But mostly Batman figures have suffered from like a weird pinhead syndrome. Where the heads look way too small for the bodies of the Batman. Um... I think other than the Arkham games, almost every Batman that comes out has had like this tiny head syndrome. Um, almost as bad as the uh, great disease of McFarlane toys, uh, aka the side eye. Um, but I think they finally nailed a good Batman. This is probably the best looking Batman I've seen so far from McFarlane, other than maybe the Arkham Asylum slash Arkham City one. Um, yeah, it's from Hush. I'm wondering if they're going to make that kind of gray gunmetal blue color like a variant if they already have then oops um but yeah I, i'm looking for the nightfall batman as well i think that'd be pretty cool uh but yeah this looks fantastic i really like it and i think it's um gonna look really good i'm finally glad we got a good batman because it feels like for a while we just haven't um so yay also hush um controversial take here i don't think hush is that good of a story I know there's a lot of people who love it. Um, they love the mystery of it. Hush being like the childhood friend. Um, you have Clayface. And then you have uh, like the twist of Jason Todd in there. Spoilers if you never read Hush. Just go ahead and read it. Um, and then the Riddler being, you know, spoiler. Riddler kind of being the mastermind behind everything. I get it. But it's such an overblown story. When I see people who are like the best Batman stories of all time, and they put Hush in there, I vehemently disagree. I don't think Hush even makes the top 10. Um, probably not even the top 20 Batman stories I've ever read. Uh, I just, I think it's an overblown, kind of overrated story. That being said, it's probably some of the best Batman art you will ever see. That is not overblown. Uh, uh, if you want to just an artist showcase, read Hush, because Jim Lee's art is fantastic. I mean, you get some of it here. It's beautiful. It's just, it's a fucking, it, it's part of my language. <laughs> it's it's a fucking masterpiece of art. And storytelling, no. I think Jeff Loeb has done better. Uh, Daredevil Yellow, um, Superman for All Seasons. Uh, Jeff Loeb's got way better work out there than Batman Hush. Um, I think Hush is just really overrated. Uh, next thing, uh, first kind of actual mailbag order. I got an Amazon order here. 
It's actually a Funko. I know what this is um, because I waited a while for it to finally get here. And uh, yep. So we finally got the classic Black Widow uh, Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest. It's kind of this like Funko release of classic Avenger looks. And there you go. You got a classic black and red haired Black Widow. It comes with a little exclusive pin. And yeah, Amazon exclusive. I have the Iron Man of these. I think I got the Black Panther one, didn't I? I don't remember. I know I got the Thor one. Um, but anyway, I've been getting them as they come out to just kind of get some old school looking characters. So yeah, really cool. That'd be fun to open up. Uh, the next thing, we got another small box. Again, I know what this is just because of where it's from. Uh, this is a U2's figure. Uh, they do little, they're kind of like Funkos, but they're not Funkos. Um, they're a little, they look a little bit more detailed as to what they're supposed to be as a little, as opposed to a little bit cartoony like the Funkos. Sorry, I'm adjusting my camera here. Um, and they take a long time to get here. That actually, uh, it's funny that plush right there, the, the Bigfoot plush, that is a, yeah, it's a Bigfoot. It's a Yeti, a Sasquatch, whatever you want to say. It's uh, I know he's got horns and he looks a little awkward, but it's supposed to be Bigfoot. Um, that's from, uh, Club Cryptid. They partnered with U2s or Cryptid Club. I can't remember. Look them up on Instagram. Uh, she does great work. Um, anyway, that's how I got that. I've also ordered the Mothman one, um, but I ordered this as well. And it came in when they first announced it. I knew I was going to get it just because I haven't seen anything that looked good enough yet. Um, so let's open. I'm probably going to put this up there next to uh, the Onion Knight. Sigmire, right? Pretty sure that one's Sigmire. I think Sigward's the third game, which is my favorite one, actually. Get out of here. It's in a tight box. So I'm just going to say this. They packed this in the most perfect size box. You can see it's Elden Ring. That is the most perfect size box for this. Which sometimes is good, sometimes it's bad. It depends. Um, if the box gets damaged, then it's screwed, but uh, it doesn't look like this one is. Take this plastic off. Yes. I love it already. We got Iron Fist Alexander, the Great Jar Warrior. Um, to me, Alexander is the Sigmar slash Sigurd of Elden Ring. He's the new Onion Man. I know Lionel's armor is more of a tribute to that, like the Fat Man armor. But to me, in terms of character and personality, Iron Fist Alexander is the um, new Onion Knight, basically. Your new friend for jolly cooperation. Um, he's a jar. He's a giant fighting jar. Uh, I love his little side quest. I love the little predicaments he gets in. Um, yeah, I loved Elden Ring. I liked Elden Ring a lot. Uh, I'm not as enamored with Elden Ring's lore like a lot of other people. Because if you've played all Dark Souls, Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, whatever, you can see how much of Elden Ring feels rehashed, but like done in a different way. And I know that's a lot of Dark Souls and um, from software games, even though I love them. Uh, but like Bloodborne feels like a completely different experience. Yes, the gameplay, I can, I, it's different but similar. Um, but the lore in Bloodborne is this Lovecraftian horror type lore, and it's much different than Dark Souls. I was really hoping Elden Ring would be a lot different as well to differentiate itself. Um, but I don't know. Like I feel like if you just slapped a Dark Souls name on Elden Ring, it would pass for a Dark Souls game. That's kind of how disappointed I was in its lore and characters. But I loved Iron Fist. I'm hoping they make one of these of Blyde. Uh, he was one of my other favorite side characters. Um, uh, so yeah. But uh, they're making a Nindroid Blyde, but I don't like the look of that. It looks too cartoony, too fake. I would rather have something like this that looks a little... It's a little cartoony, but it looks more accurate to what we need. Um, but yeah, awesome. This is going to be fun to open up. It's in like a protective case too. I don't know when I'm going to open this up, but... I'll probably pair that with like a video of knick-knacky things I open. Call it good. Um, okay, got uh, some Big Bad Toy Store boxes and one big box from Target. We're going to save the Target box and go into these Big Bad Toy Store boxes real quick. So we'll do this one first. Uh, a couple of these I know what they are and one of them I don't. Now I don't know what's in each individual box because they're basically the same boxes almost. So this one looks like, yep, 
I like this figure a lot already. Oh, it looks like we finally got a new insert from Big Bad Toy Store. Got some the X Men '97 stuff, uh, some Transformers, the Star Trek stuff, Bruce Lee. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, here we go. Yeah, we've got the Marvel Knights Luke Cage Power Man. Uh, I've been wanting a Power Man figure for so long. Don't get me wrong, Luke Cage is cool. I like Power Man more. You go back and read like Christopher Priest's Power Man and Iron Fist run, Heroes for Hire. Oh, it's so glorious. Um, yeah, a classic kind of Silver Age, early Luke Cage Power Man figure. Awesome. Awesome. This is a pretty cool set, too. You got, like, the more recent Daredevil and um, Fist Ninja. Um, you got Clea, the doctor, to kind of go with the Doctor Strange if you want. Looks like who else we got? We got the new Bullseye, the Lady Bullseye. We got Blade and then Marvel Knights Iron Man. Um, so, yeah. Or not Marvel Knights, Midnight Suns Iron Man. Um, I like this lineup a lot. Uh, but I'm just going to be honest. The only two I'm getting are Luke Cage and Blade. And in one of the other boxes should be Blade. And then you get one of the mindless ones. I think I might build this mindless one. Um, just to kind of have it. He looks pretty cool. I think he should be a little bit more gray. He looks a little bit more of like a dark gray or a black. But I think the mindless one should be more of a gray. But this Iron, this Power Man, I'm sorry, Iron Man. This Power Man figure looks fantastic. Oh, I love it already. This is going to be so much fun to open up. Okay, I'm going to guess that means this other skinny box is Blade. Yep. So let's get to it. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Which I'm not mad about. Oh, they didn't put an insert in this one. Hmm. All right, and here we go. We got a blade. He looks great. Um, I am a little upset about a couple things here. Um, one, I wish he had a kind of normal head, not just this screaming head. Um, and I also wish he came with some gloved hands instead of barehanded. I think he should have like some, uh, not like weightlifter gloves, but you know, like biker gloves or something on. Um, but I think this is the closest thing we're going to get to a comic book blade for a while. So I guess we're kind of stuck with it for now until we get a better one. Uh, so it's, it'll be a good placeholder, I guess. See, like even in this art, he has gloves on. So I don't understand why they couldn't just uh, give him like a set of uh, black gloved hands and call it good. It would have been so much better. But anyways, I do love Blade. Um, this is not an early Blade. Blade's first appearance looks more like Power Man back there. Um... But uh, this is more like in the 90s when they started, or not even the 90s, it's more recent for sure. But starting in the 90s, they started modeling him more after Wesley Snipes, after those movies came out. So, um, yeah, or the first Blade movie. Um, but I do like it overall. I like the look. I like the cl uh, the coat, the jacket. Um, I just wish he had some gloved hands and a neutral expression face or an angry face, not a yelling face. I know you want to show the fangs, but still. Even just like a closed mouth grin or something that showed off the fangs would be cool. Uh, but definitely he needs gloves. I'm going to try to find some um, uh, black gloved hands to throw on this guy. Uh, because it, like right here, see, like it looks way better with some black gloved hands. Um, yeah. All right. We got one more from Big Bad Toy Store. Kind of a bigger box. Heavy too. I'm trying to figure out what this is. I'm starting to finally catch up on all my pre-orders, so things are like slowly, more slowly trickling in, which is good because I hated having so much stuff that I couldn't keep up with it. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Well, very interesting. Uh, all right. I know what this is. We have the Super 7 Ultimates uh, TMNT Ninja Turtles Genghis Frog. 
Um, funny enough, uh, I don't know if you remember a while back, I did a video where I opened up a Super 7 box that had the Toxic Crusader Super 7 figures. And they were just in the box as is. Um, there was no outer box to protect them. Uh, and I don't know why. This one came the same way. It was wrapped in the plastic, but it didn't have the outer brown box that Super 7 Ultimates come with. I don't know what it is with Big Bad Toy Store. Sometimes they send them in those, sometimes they don't. I don't know why. Um, very weird, but he just came in the plastic bag like he'd been taken out of the brown shipper box. Um, ooh, it looks pretty cool though. Very bright, very vibrant. I like it. Oh, I can't remember if the tongue gun thing is bendable or not. I don't really know much about Genghis Frog. I just know he was kind of a popular toy back in the day. And they finally brought him back. So, hey. I like it. I think he... Yeah, he's the only one I got in this set. I can't remember what wave we're on. I want to say we're on, what, wave 5 now? 5 or 6, probably? Maybe even 7. Ooh. I don't know. Trying to see at the bottom there, see if it says. It does not. Um, anyway... Uh, I know he's the only one I got in this set. So, I think. I'll have to double check, but pretty sure. Otherwise, I feel like the other one, if I did get another one, it would have came in. Um, so, yeah, that'll be fun. I like the Super 7 Ultimates. I, I genuinely believe that the Ninja Turtle Ultimate line is the best Ultimate line that Super 7 has. Um, their New Japan line sucked. I mean, there was a couple of good ones, and the rest were just trash. Uh, the Thundercats line is probably like 75% good. Um, they're like every once in a while you get one that's just like, what and why? Um, and then I would say, uh, easily Ninja Turtles is their best line. I know I've only, there's only been a couple of releases of the Toxic Crusader toys. We've gotten a couple different Toxies, um, Toxic Avengers, and we've got Junkyard and the Soldier or whatever, the Trooper. Um, those were great too. So a good start for those, but Consistency, there has not been a single bad Ninja Turtle Super 7 Ultimate. Um, kudos to them for making these so good. Um, my favorite line from Super 7 by far. And last box, we have a big... Let's see if I can turn it here. Target box. You might know what this is, actually. They all in here? Hope so. Uh, yeah, they're there. Alright. Cool. Alright. So, first out the gate, we have the Batman animated series. Scarecrow. Um, these are Target exclusive. The animated series figures that McFarlane's now making are going to be Target exclusive, I guess. Um, which is funny because before they released a four-pack Walmart exclusive, which I never got. I need to. Um, and yeah. Anyway. Uh, no, wait. I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Did I? Ooh. Dangerous. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. Scarecrow. The Build-A-Figure is Condiment King. Which is kind of funny to me. But I like this. I like this animated look for Scarecrow. I think it's pretty cool. I like the box. It's got the old animated series logo. And the red and black Gotham in the back. Uh, there's your Condiment King figure. And there's the figures that come in the set. Did I get the whole set? No. Um, I, maybe I should have, but I didn't. Um, we have Robin. Uh, specifically, I believe this is Tim Drake Robin, right? E. I think it's Tim Drake Robin. I might be wrong on that. Either way, looks pretty good. And lastly, we have Mr. Freeze. He looks pretty good. I'm interested to see how the articulation on Mr. Freeze works for a McFarlane. Um, because I know these are different than the DC Direct ones. They look like they're a little bit smaller than normal McFarlane's. Like, these might actually be in a 6-inch scale, as opposed to, like, the 7-inch scale that's normally hitting McFarlane. 
Yeah, I don't know. Be interesting to find out. But yeah, Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze probably, besides Batman himself, might be my favorite character in all of the animated series. So um, he's one of my favorite Batman villains. Probably, oh man, I'd probably go number two. I think Riddler's number one for me, and then it's Mr. Freeze. Uh, animated Riddler needs to happen now, obviously. But yeah, there we go. Those are going to be awesome to open up. I might do these three all at once. Um, I did not get the Batman, and here's the reason why. I wanted, I, I got, I fell into a conundrum. I wanted to complete the Condiment King build a figure, but I didn't want that Batman. That Batman looked like trash. Um, and let me explain. The cell shading on that Batman was so heavy that it just looked weird. And for some reason, it looked like they made his chin bigger. I don't know what was up with that. Um, like the cell, the cell, uh, cell shading effect for Mr. Freeze here doesn't look that bad. Um, the cell shading for Robin, not that bad. Scarecrow, almost looks like it doesn't have any. Um, and then the Walmart four pack that had Batman, Harley Quinn, Joker, and uh, Harvey Bullock, I believe. is the No, Bullock, not Harvey Bullock. Um, is it Bullock? Yeah, it's Bullock. I don't think his name's Harvey, though. Is it? Gee. Uh, anyway, the, the cell shading on that package set doesn't look that bad. For some reason, they went way heavy on the Batman in this wave. With the cell shading to the point where it it's off-putting. It looks like it's out of place now. Um, so I wanted to complete Condiment King, but I did not want that Batman. And I guess I could have bought it, taken the Condiment King piece out, and then um, sold the Batman figure, I guess. I don't know. But um, I guess I in my mind, I thought maybe I could just find the Condiment King pieces easier. I believe... Um, Batman comes with the arms for Condiment King. So I need the arms for Condiment King. If I can't find them, I'll just buy the figure outright and then take the arms out and sell the figure. Get a little money back for it. I won't get what I pay for it, but I'll get something back. Yeah. But I also want to get that Walmart 4-pack because you can still find it pretty easily on Walmart's website. I've even seen it at a few different Walmarts I've been to recently. So I'm not in any rush to go out and get it, but I do want to get it. That way I can put it with these and start that animated series set of Batman. Um, Batman Arkham figures, I'm always a big fan of. Not the Arkham Knight ones, because people are crazy, man. Look, unpopular opinion, Arkham Knight sucked. Fantastic gameplay. The best gameplay of any Arkham game. Maybe the worst story of any Arkham game. Um, I'm just putting that out there. I know there's people who like it. I don't. And I think a big part of that is because I'm not a Jason Todd fan. I don't like Jason Todd at all. Um, like, once you start just going through Robins, it's like, okay, Dick Grayson's awesome. He's the original. Carrie Kelly works because it's this alternate old Batman. Um, Tim Drake is whatever, but nobody likes Jason Todd. There's a reason he was murdered. Um, <laughs> fan vote, that is. Anyway, um, that's it. Uh, we got these three. I need to decide whether I want to get that Batman and get the Condiment King arms or if I want to wait. So we'll see what happens. Um, we got that. We got the Genghis Frog over here. Uh, we got this blade, which I think is going to need a little touching up. Mainly some gloves to go on those hands. We got what I think is like a perfect looking Power Man figure. Um, we got our Iron Fist Alexander Elden Ring figure. The little Black Widow... Funko, Amazon exclusive. And, of course, we have the Hush Batman. Um, so, pretty cool. Uh, really good haul. I was waiting for the uh, for a good size haul to make a good first video here in the new house. Um, and I'm still getting used to it. I'm still not used to being loud in my own house. So, it's, like, weird. I'm, I'm My volume's, like, different at different times of the day here. Um, but that's it. Thank you if you liked the video. Um, well, before I end it, I, just want, I do want to say one thing. Um, I got a lot of support messages when, uh, I, in one of the previous videos, I said I was moving and everything, not necessarily here on YouTube, but on Instagram. Cause I have, a, I have a lot of Instagram groups that I'm in. Um, and I just want to say thank you to those people who showed support and a lot of love and everything during that whole process. It was amazing. And I didn't think I would ever have that many people, you know, sending me messages or anything like that. Um, and I just want to say thank you. It means the world. 
And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Welcome to the new home. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to, obviously. But welcome to the new home. And uh, keep the good times rolling, huh?